Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and it's almost Christmas time, guys. So let's fire up the old 3D printer and make some ornaments for the Christmas tree. <laughs> Maybe this will get me back on Santa's nice list. Alright guys, sorry I haven't had any 3D printing videos lately, I've just had a lot on my plate, but we're going to go ahead and get heavy back into it. This is one of two videos that I'm working on right now, uh, but this video right here, we're going to print a snowflake, because in Washington here, we just got our first snow today, and it was just a very, very little bit, I mean, it was like a half an inch, but it pretty much inspired me that, to print a snowflake. So I went and found this design, this is by Roman Haglin, and it's really cool, it's already got a little spot that you can put a piece of string through to hang it on your tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to print two different sets. I'm going to print the first set um, in silver, and I'm going to keep it this original size right here. This is this is the one one mapping size of the model that I downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and print four of these in silver. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale them down to uh, 50 percent. You can see here. I'm going to go ahead and scale it down like this, and then we're going to replicate it. And I want to print nine of these small ones. So if we say multiply object, we want to multiply it. There we go. Actually, want to multiply it by eight, but right here you can see we have our nine objects and I'm going to print these in clear. Now the cool thing is my Ultimaker has the dual extrusion kit on it. So I have both clear and silver loaded into two different print heads. So all I have to do is modify the G code to switch to the second print head once I save this file and I can automatically just print these in clear and I don't have to go change out the material and purge the print head and all that. It's very, very convenient. Also, if you guys aren't familiar with the software I'm using right here, this is Kura by Ultimaker. It's a phenomenal software and it works with almost all 3D printers. If your 3D printer supports G-code, this will work with it. So definitely check it out out of all the softwares I've used and I've used a couple of them. This is by far the easiest and fastest. So all right, let's go ahead and get that Ultimaker fired up and get these things on the tree.
right, guys. Well, we created our ornaments. We've got the silver stars here, and we've got the little clear guys down below. They're kind of white and kind of translucent. So we're going to go ahead and hang them up on our tree. This is my Christmas tree behind us. Oh, So uh, there you go. we got nine of these little guys, and I think I printed four of these silver guys. Didn't take hardly any time. That Ultimaker, when you crank it up to 150 uh, millimeters per second, that thing burns. All right. Let's get these on the tree. All right, so to mount these guys, I got some of these little hook jobbers. Wow, there's like a whole just freaking knot of them here. They're like what you use for hanging the conventional little ball ornaments. Now on the big guys here, there's actually a hole that got printed for them. But when I scaled them down this small, the hole kind of disappeared. So we'll have to improvise. Here we go. Got our little hook in there through the hole. So let's go ahead and find a branch. Let's try this one right here. That looks pretty damn good. All right, let's try one of the smaller little white ones here. Get up on this little branch. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, actually. Wow, guys, I think they actually turned out amazing. They look beautiful on the tree, and I can't wait to honestly put these on like every year. Well, guys, that's how you take your 3D printer one step further and use it to decorate your Christmas tree. You can literally do anything with a 3D printer. Guys, it's been a pleasure making this video. I'm glad I'm back to 3D videos. You guys have actually been waiting for a while for some new 3D printing videos. And more are on the way. So, guys, have a happy and safe Christmas and even happier New Year. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.